we'll just go play it out and see how it goes. So, yeah, sh shade up. Nice. Yeah. Gosh. That's why we're not in St. George. <laughs> Way too hot down there. All right, dog, you're going to want to move. All right, so I'm just going to start standing right here and just observe for a moment. Let's just see what Taz has to say. I love that his head's down. Oh, he just looked in the trailer. So I'm just, I'll kind of talk out what I'm seeing and thinking. He's looking in the trailer, winding, right? Just kind of taking a, so there's some curiosity. Now he's distracted. He's like, I think I'm going to go do something else. I'm going to start correcting attention out here and releasing on any attention this way. We'll see how long Sprocket wants to stay there. You know what I'm going to need, Mark? I bet I'm going to need that longer lead rope. I got this. That'll just set me up for a, a better win than. Uh, let's just just put it. Yeah, put it on that. One. Let's do that. Let's just trade it out. Yeah, that'll it'll just keep me out of the problem. Yep, yep, exactly. See, he's already cautious just, you know, seeing this new, yeah, new some stuff. new stuff. He's like, what? Sweet, thank you. All right, so what I'm going to do with this lead rope is just lace it up through one of the eyelets up there so that I can help keep his nose towards the trailer without me being up here in front of him and being in the way, and I can stay out here to apply a little pressure. So what I'm not going to, I'm not tying him or holding him here. I mean, if he pulls and goes backwards, that's, I'm not going to argue with that. So it's not getting him up here and tying him in place and saying, see, look, you're going to be fine and just, you know, really doing it. Yeah, but this is just going to help me stay out of the way. There we go, that'll help. This will just help his nose stay that direction. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure. Any curiosity movement, that way we'll release and relax and let him, let some curiosity do what it does. So he just looked at the trailer. Just like earlier, I got him to look at the tarps, you know, not at me out there. So I got to start. Let's get him figuring out where the answer is. I'm wanting his mind to figure out, man, the answer is somewhere forward. That's backwards. That's forward. So his curiosity, he's going to want to touch the sides, he's going to want to touch the floor, but he's got to get there. So I gotta, I'm just got to take this one step at a time until he can mentally get there and figure out, well, I got to do this, so I got to check things out. I got to be curious because he's got to do a security check.
that's forward. So there's some curiosity. He needs to know what this stuff feels like. What is it? Is that, is that 25 poisonous snakes laying there? <laughs> so he's got to check things out in order to get confident. So if he turns and looks at me, I'm just going to give him a little bump of pressure saying, hey, I'm not the answer. The answer is somewhere forward. We're kind of getting set up on some angles that I don't like right now because these hips are not in a position to get in the trailer. So at some point he's going to have to experience enough pressure and then he's going to have to bring his hips to me to look for that answer. So there's licking and chewing number one. Oh, there's a little step forward. Ooh, another little one. That stuff matters. We got to see that. It matters to him. He stepped forward with both front feet. Now there's a little more caution and a little bit of relaxing and licking and chewing again. So I'm just verbalizing what I'm kind of reading with him. Head up though, he's still cautious. Little curiosity. There's a little step forward. I got to get this rope shortened up a little bit, but he's got to walk forward to do it. One step. I mean, I'm rewarding that right hind leg. I mean, I saw the muscles fire and I started to release right when he fired and then he took the step. You know, if I can let him know that, hey, that's more safety, right? I'm my angle is getting less and he can get calmer. The calmer he gets, then my angles can increase. But he's got to make some mental decisions that he's safe. Because if I just keep driving that angle, he's going to keep going backwards if he's cautious. I need curiosity to move him up so that I can help this go forward. Is he getting closer to lining up to be able to get in the trailer? Touching the trailer with his what, Dusty? By yes, by free side. Bonus. I gotta think of something to ask Ross. I gotta get him involved in this. I'm, I'm liking that one because you asked about it a couple of times, and so I'll. This will help burn it in. You'll like. You'll own that word. Curiosity. Looking around in the trailer. So as long as I, I, mean, I got to mentally get him in the trailer first, then I can physically get him in the trailer. If he's mentally out here, over there, worried, there's no way in hell he's going to get in this trailer. So he's looking out. I'm going to say, nope, there's no answers over here, but I bet you there's some in there. Head down, curiosity, exploring, seeking, looking, feeling. But head up, I mean, I've, ooh. Yeah, do you guys feel, hear that? Big, deep breaths, parasympathetic nervous system, short, shallow, fight, flight. Sympathetic nervous system.
This will be a big deal with his hind end issues too. I mean, this will help a bunch because he's going to have to figure out how to move forward. Nice. One little bit. But what I don't want to do, Greg, like earlier, I don't want to, I don't want a big cortisol shot and adrenaline if I can stay out of it. If it happens, we'll just see if we can recover and work through it. We might have to start over clear back here if he has a big mess. But if we can just let him seek out this answer and have the time for that mental relief for him to be curious, that's what will do it. And I have no doubt, Mark, had we not done that tarp setup yesterday, very little chance of this being as successful as I think this is going to be. What we started with this morning? No, yesterday. Yeah, just doing yesterday, the same barrels and tarps. Yeah, had we not done that, exactly. because that's where, that's you know, like you guys saw this morning, we were teaching him, move forward, go get curious. This is the, right, can you see how this is the exact same setup? So if he can reward himself every step of the way in the trailer and it feels good, imagine that he's building a mental pathway into this cave full of right all of his stress and worries, but he's building a mental safe pathway to, pathway to get in there. The next time I bring him up and he sees this type of a setup, hey, been here before, this can feel good if I give him the time. So if I slow this down and do this two, three, five, 19 times as slow as he needs it, I mean, we've done this with horses that couldn't get in the trailer, go through this process for an hour, walk them away, take a half hour break, come back, load them in 10 seconds. We're, it's just changing the chemistry. It's, it's not about training the tra to get in a trailer. Get their chemistry down. Caution, caution, he's going backwards. He says, I don't think so. Relief isn't going to come until he goes forward. But I want to get his head in the trailer. Can you see, I mean, this eye's kind of on me, and I want to get his mentally in the trailer. There we go. Now he's mentally looked right in the trailer. And that hip's got to come towards me for him to get in this trailer. So I'm going to be applying some pressure. And when that hip comes this way, I'm going to release because he's got to be lined up to get in there. So he's cautious. He's still going, well, I've got an escape through here, right? So he's still lined up to try to take this escape route. When he gets his hips over here, he's a lot more committed that, oh, man, I'm going to figure this problem out. Or, he's, you know, he can go backwards. That's his only thing. So. Bring me those hips, big guy. Wonderful win. I mean, he went back to the end of the lead rope, and then he didn't go bonkers. But he's not got his hips over here yet, so that's going to be the next thing I want him to start figuring out, is to line himself up to figure this out.
Hey, Mark, will you get that stick and string? Yeah. I think it's just, yeah, and then I don't have to get so far out there, and it'll be less intrusive on him. I was thinking about it, but if he can find his way. That's why. Wow. Right, a little change in pressure. Now we're lined up to win. So can you see how his kind of the tolerating behavior is showing up and that's causing some problems. So it shows up kind of everywhere. So the more we fix that, meaning he can lower his head and relax and engage quicker, longer, so much stuff's going to go away. Uh, yeah, the trouble is with him being in this tolerating state. Yeah, we need more of this engagement. That's what helps the licking and chewing. Yeah, nice read. Yeah, very nice. So we, I mean, I'm just seeing that stiff head and neck. I mean, that's the thing. If I concentrate our efforts and time more and more on that, so much is going to go away. So, I mean, that's where we, we noticed it right off and was like, wow, this guy can tolerate. And we've been trying to break that down and break it down. And because okay. that's what's, that's just what's slowing him down. That's where he's getting stuck. So right there's a little experiment. What I see a lot of people do, the horse starts to go in the trailer, what do they do? Get in there, you almost got it! You're almost there! Go, pony, go, pony! And the horse is scared to death going, is this going to kill me? And then all this pressure says, go in there. It's like, I haven't decided if I'm okay or not. <laughs> so then they're going to come out hot. Like you yeah! That, you, so oh, shoot. Shoot. I'm never going that again. With you. Yeah. 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 So we've been teaching this cluck all the whole time. Every hour we're with him, when we want him to move, we cluck first. So that can help me right now. Like, hey, dude, I'm going to give you a hint. you got to move your feet. Another experiment. Wait. Except he kind of gets in this stuck mode. This is what, right? I want to wait, but then I also know he can tolerate for a long time. So another little bump of pressure to get him to re-engage. I'm not saying you got to get in the trailer. I'm just saying, dude, get out of your head. Whew. Try to let that go, man. I, I don't want you stuck. Go engage. Go do something. Shift. Yes. Yeah. Just watching what weights on what foot, telling me what's going to happen next. I love this. this. Right? He's not stuck. He's not head up. There it is. 
So can I keep helping him to spend more and more time with his head down? Pressure when his head is up, release when it's down. Let's just see if we can talk him through this. You're probably not seeing it from there, Wes, but that lead rope on him is dropped between the dividers. And if he gets in there and starts to move, he might slam the divider too far. Good thought. Yeah, if he goes in, it'll pull it open. Yeah, okay, that, yeah. Let's not have that, thank you. Good job, dude. Good job, dude. Oh, I see it, yeah. Okay. I'll try to keep that a less. Thank you. Good point. All right, let me s Well. No. Let's just do that. All right, boy, did I just change the visual inside there? Do I want to be conscious of that and maybe let things start over and, yeah? In a sense, but they don't have evaluative process of thinking like, oh, that horse did it, I can do it. But they can follow another horse because they feel safer with that horse. Like getting him across those tarps, he followed Mrs. Mustang two or three times. But he wouldn't do it by himself, but he would go across with her. And if you remember what happened? She'd slowly go across, hit follow, and then bolt past. And then jump, yeah. Oh, I'm in front now. Yeah, then she'd come around and she'd try to go across and then hit follow and bolt Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's why sending, being able to send your horse in the trailer, send them across a tarp, send them across a bridge, you know, standing off to the side and send them around you, send them in the water. Yeah, I've been mowed, I've been pancaked, right, <laughs> face down. Well, if you get, if you can get your sending working and you got a long lead like this, I should be able to send him clear across a river. You know, if we're still in the same connection, it's no different than sending him into a trailer. It's just, hey, I need you to move forward. Go get curious.
Oh, he's all sorts of curious in there and He's pretty worried about this being behind him in a sense, so he's he's half mentally out here and half in there and just but he's making some changes. He's trying and there's my dopamine and serotonin to help all this out and help it. So serotonin balances emotions in us humans. And we have a wide array of emotions. Horses, there's two emotions that I'm Fear and safety. So this, the more licking and chewing, the quiet, reflecting, kind of soaking, dwelling time, that's when the serotonin starts working. It's going to balance him between fear and safety. Right now, there's more fear than safety, or he'd be in the trailer. As more and more safety comes into play, he'll get more and more confident, and he'll end up in the trailer. So I need that serotonin to do its job so that he can feel safer so that he can do more experiments like this. Has he figured out my game? If I leave my foot here, you won't talk to me. Because every time he brings his foot out, I say something, right? And so now he's like, oh. I, I got it. You want my foot in here. <laughs> but that's not going to be comfortable for very long. He's going to make a decision. He's either going to put some weight on it or he's going to back up. can't tell me they don't have some sense. I mean, this just cracks me up. They're, it's like a game of chess. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> All right, you want to know the next move? The next move is put some weight on that foot.
See, once he works through this, he's going to get so much of his fear and questions and concern out of the way. Right? We'll take this time because the next time is going to be so much different because he was allowed to seek this out. If we take this time away, we're taking away the learning. Right? If we go get panels and build us an alleyway and we Yahoo and all this stuff and try to just blast them in there so that they can experience it and see that they're okay, that's our brain working. That's how we think. If he doesn't go in there feeling calm and safe, then he won't go in there again feeling calm and safe. He'll go in, he'll still have caution. So allowing him to problem solve and seek some answers out and work through this So I'm going to start releasing on weight when he puts some weight on a foot like that. Sometimes it gets ugly before it gets good. Because he's kind of figured it out and now what's he going to... He's going to explore some other options here just to make sure this is the safe thing to do. So, you know, he tried to leave this way. I'm going to take another win. But I want to get back to that weight. You got to get some foot up there, buddy. <laughs> he slammed it down, too. Is this what you want? So I'm going to take a win here if I can get it because I don't want to get stuck. So if he'll do something to give me a head down or lift another foot up because I don't want to just play this tolerating smack in your butt game. Ah, I don't want his head out here so I'm going to take something like that. All right, it got ugly. Right, we, we went backwards. He like lost confidence, like give up on it. He's like, I don't think that was the right answer. I think I can come out and get in fight flight mode and find a different way to deal with this. And then he's back to, okay, I didn't find a different way. I'm, let me tolerate this. I'll just wait this out. You know, I'll just take a few spankings. And But yeah, he licked and chewed. So we kind of reset. Now I'm feeling like, all right, I'm going to have to go back and take some smaller wins. You know, I tried to push and get some weight on a foot or get both in there. Didn't work out as well as I want. I'll go back. Let's take a couple of these. And let's bring things back down. Get him back engaged. You're going to get his head back down checking it out because... He's just tolerating. Now 
Not out here. I got his hips back over here. See, he's cautious. He's not got his hips. Here it almost comes. There's a little bit. Can I talk those hips into shifting this way? So you can tell he's mentally not in the trailer now. He's mentally, he's, he's out here kind of putting up with and I need to get him. Yeah, he's just not, not as engaged as he was, but I've never had this take longer than three days, so I know it'll work. You know? <laughs> I've had a couple at three hours. I have total wild horses, never been haltered, never been touched in a pen and load them in a horse trailer at Liberty takes me about three hours. Wow. I've just talked, released to where they feel like, man, I'm better in that trailer, you know, than the pressure that's out here just through relaxing and doing this just without a halter and a lead line. So he's tolerant. So what I'm going to experiment with, I'm going to turn the pressure up a little bit, meaning this is going to land a little harder and see if we can't kind of push him to uh, look for an answer that he hasn't looked for yet. Meaning, damn, this is getting a little more intense. Does he choose to try harder or does he kind of try to fight back more? I'm going to just play that out a little to see. I thought he was looking at you, but you know, he's with the tolerating, we've kind of had to really push him to break past his tolerating to get him to come back down. So I'm going to... He did look too, dude. Did he? Just before you saw it, yes. I looked and I saw his lips and I didn't know if he was starting. He must have just been ending. Okay, good. Oh, good. There's another one. Tell more stories, West. Tell more stories. Slow down faster. You'll get done soon. Oh... Come on, I want him to try something. 
because we got a pretty good amount of pressure going. Got pretty tense. Let's see if that'll. Damn, my rope's too tight. No, it's just wrapped around the thing, and it just creates enough friction he can't bob his head down. Yep. And he already wants to keep his head up. So as soon as he feels that, he's like, "Never mind. I didn't want to relax anyway." Yeah. Did you see him try? He tried to put his head down and he ran into the rope and then he's like, oh, okay, I'm out. Yeah. Lead rope management. I know, dude. I know. But he had just done all this on you and you had to kind of stay there. It, yeah. I guess it's putting a pulley on that thing. Right, that's why I'm just sitting here thinking of a, an eyelet that, yep. you know, rigged this up specifically for this process because. All right, Taz. Let's do this, dude.
Yeah, he's just mentally not up there, and he's just not not getting back in there mentally. Come on, dude. Give me something. And start back over. Lick and chew. I mean, I don't mind that he's dancing around, and I mean, he's just he's just looking for answers that he's have worked before, and I'm trying to hold him under enough pressure to look for an answer he hasn't looked for before, which is something you know into where he doesn't want to be in, in the in the stress area. Just did you feel his muscles? Yeah. I mean, see him? Yep. I'm trying to get. Trying to get something that we can both win on here. If he'll give a little, I'll give a lot. Get back up there, you were right there. Try again, buddy. Try again. Yes, I'm proud of you, dude. You're doing fantastic. You're like a trick pony, standing on one foot. See, but he's just got questions. He got issues about being in this confined space or being in in between that entry point. You know what? Huh? He's asking if you're really sure about. Yeah. You sure I'll be okay in there? Yeah, yeah, he's just got the tip of his toe on there. Now, if the curiosity can pull. He was out. This is a big difference. Oh, man. Yep. Yeah. Whoa, there's licking and chewing. Yeah, he had to move his foot up, right? Because it's not comfortable being stretched out like that and he's not feeling safe. So if he shifts his feet around to get his body better weight proportion and balanced, he's looking for safety. He's like, I'm, I might be here a minute. Let's, let's get out of caution on froze mode to, whoo, we're gonna be here a minute. It's 
So, I mean, I'm, I'm loving this, but I want to keep him mentally engaged. If I feel like he's checking out too much, then I'll give a little pressure, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so that he's not feeling as much, and then if that doesn't, you follow up. Then, the yep. Well, that's we want to start with that. That's why we want to start with the audible, right. and then it gets followed up until we get a result. You know, we get a whatever. But even now, I mean, I'm kind of don't mind him even looking out here because this is different. Yes, it is. He's like, well, I'm safe here, but I sure want to make sure I've got my exits. Because going the rest of the way in there will be a, a big deal. But then we look at it, just head up, right? He's tolerating. A little bit of curiosity happens now and then. He starts looking around. If he could do that more, this would be done. That's the thing. That's the, the tick right there. The behavior tick is, I don't dare relax. I've done this. I can do this for a long time. I'm safe doing this. We're asking him to just let it go. All right, Taz. I mean, he's back to being mentally aware. Like, he feels like he just kind of drifts away. Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm, I want to go back to rewarding anything because we're so winning right now. We're so winning because this is awesome. He's, he's to that point. <laughs> Probably doesn't reach that far like that, does it? Look at this is big stuff for me right here that he's gonna hang out down there. All right, we're doing brain surgery. We're not training a horse. We're rewiring a brain. Yes, and then did you see his head? He's like, no, oh, no, I don't know. He's trying. I mean, he's mentally trying. That was a little physical try. He's gonna fall asleep in there. But this is problem-solving behavior that he hasn't experienced before. So I mean, gosh, this is. I mean, it's taking forever right now, but and the next time we do this, the fifth time we do this, dude, it won't take him two seconds to load in this trailer. 
He's going to walk up and go, hell yeah, I'm safe. And just walk right in there. But he's apparently, he needs to experience every centimeter. <laughs> you know what, though? This might, having him learn through this process, of, this might help us out a ton in all kinds of other stuff. The more relaxed and confident we can get him, then the more problems just go away. So, yeah, this might help in all kinds of stuff. It, that's really the issue is, are they, they calm and confident or, you know, crazy? Yeah, so, this isn't going to sell real well if you're going this slow, right? It's like, oh. Let's see, we've got an hour of video of of, of this. <laughs> but you're winning. Damn. Well, what's not happening is I'm not getting rope burned. He's not clear back there, just all stressed out and panicked and... You know, we're, we've been making progress along the way. But seriously, I've had way more goofy horses do this faster. He's, this is his tick. This is, this is just his thing showing up under pressure. So I'm loving it that we get his head, you know, get this tolerating out and more engagement will fix so much stuff. So now I'm just going to ask him to keep engaging. Head up just means I'm going to give him some pressure. Head down, I'll leave you alone. And then at some point, head down, and you got to do something. Because yeah, he'll be like, oh, I got this chest move. I got you. For sure. Yeah, yeah. It, it got ugly. And, yep. Yep, and, and that's some typical behavior we've kind of run into him, and all horses, not just him. And I said, I was just saying, it, you know, it gets ugly before it gets good. I could just kind of feel like, I think this is going to get ugly, and then we'll just reapply the pressure and see if we can get back to something looking good. Big deal. He thinks he's going to die. He thinks his life depends on this. I'm with you, dude. I got you. I got your back. Oh, right. If he can just take this lesson away that, man, under pressure, I got to seek out this quiet place. That'll pay off. First red doors. He started to bail on me, then he made a different decision, and that's brain stuff, that's important to him.
saw was you were not letting him. The pressures kept coming even though he's dropping his head. That worked before, but now we got to have. I'm just look somewhere else. turning it. Back feet move. Good. Now that works. I, that's, I, that's what, just how much can I thread together, right? How much is too much? And I just, yeah, I just kept saying, look again, look some more, look for something else you haven't done. Or it's something else you haven't done. We gotta just be melting fuses in his head. There's just gotta be stuff in there just crackling. There's licking and chewing. Man, how long that takes. That's a direct reflection though of how kind of mentally stuck he can get. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, how many times has he licked and chewed in this? Yeah, it's not it's not a bunch. I mean we're an hour in, we should we should be around 30, 40. So what that's telling me is his the tolerating, right? The, the licks and chews are matching the tolerating. He's tolerating more pressure rather than letting it go. We've licked and chewed 15 times in 60 minutes, we should be double, almost triple that. Not no shoulds, no right or wrongs. It's just what's what it is, so I'm just it's taking much longer because he can tolerate. kind of hide out in his mind and tolerate rather than engage and problem solve. So getting him out of that shell and getting him to want to engage is is huge. Yeah. He's kind of checking out the inside of the trailer now, looking around. He's looking a little bit. He's teaching me some stuff. I mean, he is teaching me how this, the, the tolerating mindset, all right, just, because I have no doubt that, I mean, we could probably really go to work and be beating and spanking on him and have it not get anywhere, because he's just like, I'm just going to muscle up and turn it off. Because look how light we're being, and we're having to, I'm taking these teeny, teeny little wins. There's our licking and chewing again. He needs the softness so his mind can stay relaxed enough to find out this feels good. Man. Yeah.
killing me, Smalls. Yeah. One step forward, two steps back. Step forward, two steps back. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I could see what's going on in his head. I mean, this is a life or death situation to him, and I just wish I could feel how this is playing out. You know, what's really going on? There's licking and chewing again. Good boy. Hello, neighbors. Another licking and chew, so we'll say we're at 17, 18. You did awesome. Yeah. You just fumbled the ball. So what didn't he do? Didn't blow, up. didn't blow up. Didn't freak out. Didn't blast backwards. Didn't launch in the trailer and turn around and you know. I love to try to, to see what didn't happen. That's just as important as what does happen. Nope. Okay. 
but I like that I could talk him out of his head being up. I mean, I'm getting to where I can pretty consistently yeah. talk him out of that. Oh. Well, we were just talking about we got to work to get his head down more often. That's what we got to work on. Well, here's a hell of an environment for it. <laughs> That's what this will turn into if we don't make progress, right? Yeah. If I don't turn it up, then he'll be like cluck. Thank you for the big breath, and let's do touch more. Thank you for the head down, a touch more. Thank you, I see you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's right there, it's right there. Frozen. Come on, dude, you're close to a breakthrough. I can feel it. Come on. Come on. For him to even position himself with me behind him like this, I know is because yesterday, man, lined up like this, he was like scooting his booty everywhere to not let me be in this position, uh, even further away than this. So in that, if, we're doing a hell of a lot more here than getting him to get in the trailer is what I'm really adding up because he is showing lots because, yeah, yesterday, no way would he let me go around behind his butt with stuff you know if I just walked and was touching him okay but any pressure back here yeah get comfortable we're gonna be a minute it looks like man somebody order pizza make a beer run should I tell a story Taz what do you need dude what do you need Oh man, I should take a video pan. Everybody's sitting in the shade, nice and relaxed. And like this is hard work though, but my back is getting kind of <laughs> do some stretches. Okay, Taz, let's do this. Okay, buddy. Let's do this. I know you're worried. Yeah, he's, he's coming to help. He can always tell when the horses get stressed.
Yes, fat more. Boy, he is so thinking about it. Oh yeah, it's going to be awesome here in a minute. Like he would reach over and investigate something and then I'd watch his eye and his eye would turn and watch me with his nose on the fender or something. Uh, and I was like, dude, get that eye off of me and get back. back and it just took a few of those enough. Now, we're just going to let him hang out. If he comes back out, it's not a problem. 
right? I'm not saying, dude, you got to stay in there and let's hurry and close the doors so that he'll be okay. If he wants to come out, fantastic. Yeah, and he's doing it on his own. I'm going to go up and loosen that lead line so that he can feel like if he wants to come out, he certainly can. Now let me just check. <laughs> I mean, I want him to want to stay in the trailer. So if he goes in, turns around and comes right back out, then we're just gonna do it again and just, I mean, we could have won right there and stopped and we can stop anytime. It's been a hell of a good session. Let's just see if we can. He's going to start putting this together that going in there makes everything go away and he'll, he'll get to where he wants to be in there. He'll just, I want him to just jump right in, just step right in like, damn it already. But his mind's got to get to that point when we're, we're so working that way. But these are real life issues. I mean, this is real life. It's not that he's being stubborn or being dumb or, or, doesn't know how to get in a trailer. He just doesn't know how to relax fast enough to get in the trailer on his own. Oh, there's another licking and chewing. Another time licking and chewing. Another one. Now we're starting to get some dopamine flowing. Yeah. I'm hoping, I hope this will just pour on now. We can get 15 or 20 right here and just. And it stops him from being able to come back out on his own. Yeah. So engineer me something, Mark. I think it just takes a pulley. And I can do the so that, that when they... I have two of them, but one's too big and one's too small. Yeah. Because <laughs> if I want him to have... I mean, if he wants to come out, I want him to come out, not fill the halter and stay in. And if, I'm, let's get...
Yeah. Well, Mark, Mark will be out here later test driving a few things. He's got an engineering brain that'll just put this into perfection. But now, now what about giving, giving him the two hands head down thing now? Yeah. I'm liking him just being on his own. I mean, that could work, yes. I mean, uh, and it's more of an iffy place for you. Right, right. But I, I really feel pretty comfortable with Taz. I mean, his, his blow up or breakdowns, he'll just kind of muscle into you. And he doesn't like kick, strike, or bite, you know, because he's freaked out or panicky that way. So I'm liking that he's just chilling and hanging out and... Yeah, if he could just really just decide he's okay and just really relax. I don't think I'll load him again if he comes out. I, this has been phenomenal in my book. This is, this is top level. This is good. Oh. Well, we get all the mental stuff fixed, then all the physical stuff isn't an issue. So you know, writing and teaching and, you know, showing him different things after he can keep himself out of this tolerating will be a hundred times better. Because then we're not going to deal with that, you know, as much in the saddle. So I felt like we we followed along Taz pretty honestly today, meaning we we did as much as we could at the pressure of the levels that he could take without it getting too much. You know, we transitioned to three, four different things today, and he worked through them all, so. Hi, right, Taz, I'm going to loosen that lead rope. Let's see, how about, will you just hang out right here? He wants to be engaged with stuff. He does. This is... Yeah, I'd love him to hang out and just... Well, dang good session, so yeah. um, let me think of what I might want to do.